building a tactical 5 gigahertz portable pineapple, this time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitcher and welcome back to Hack 5. A few weeks ago, I did a little video on adding LTE to a Wi-Fi pineapple. That was a lead up into this little series or whatever you want to call what's coming next where we're going to be taking this case where, that I installed a pineapple and a 5 gigahertz AC module into and kitting it out with all kinds of cool different tricks and mods. Today we're just covering the base case build, the BCB if you will. Uh, it, and basically that boils down to the pineapple, the 5 gigahertz module, and the USB battery as well as an external charger which we'll get into next video when we add solar to this, as well as LTE. Now, this project was inspired by the portable pineapple... What did he call it? The portable suitcase pineapple... The suitcase pineapple... I don't know. The SSP. It was a rechargeable solar pineapple suitcase that Darren and Shannon made several years back, in 2016, I believe. And they set it up on a mountain somewhere and had a Wi-Fi point-to-point -point mesh back to their office, where they ended up doing all kinds of various shenanigans with ADSB and other things that required a pineapple to be in an opportune place. So I thought, how can I modernize this and take it a step further? Originally, that video was made using a Pineapple Mark V, so obviously we're using a Pineapple Mark VII today. However, we also have much more capable and compact and power efficient LTE modules, more capable solar panels, uh, more capable GPS modules. We can make something that is so much more compact. And you might have noticed I added a few extra things in there that we're going to be covering in the following videos. And I basically wanted to make this as compact and capable as I could. So we're using an Apache 1800 case from Harbor Freight. You can find a bunch of similar rugged cases if you don't have a Harbor Freight available near you. Uh, Pelican makes some small ones. Nanook makes some small ones. Uh, there's probably all kinds of generic ones too, depending on what kind of waterproofness and ruggedness you actually need. Inside, I use some 3D printed bracketry that allows me to mount a USB battery as well as the pineapple to the case. Now, you don't have to go through and decase your pineapple. I did that because I'm cheap and I wanted to use a few less SMA extensions. You could easily just use the original case and a few more of the SMA extensions I used for the 5 gigahertz module and Velcro it in or secure it another way. However, I have a 3D printer and to me, everything is a nail. Though you don't use 3D printers, you use hammers. And anyway, point is, we now have a really relatively clean mounted up base to add all kinds of different things going forward. Now this is just an introduction. In the next video we're going to be looking at connecting a solar panel to this case and doing some various power measurements to see if a little solar panel can keep up and keep this pineapple going indefinitely. We're also going to look at adding a GPS module, some magnets, so maybe you could stick it to the back of a not UPS truck. I, I would not stick this to a UPS or a, a semi or something like that. That would be very bad and maybe let some other people do war driving for you at city scale. Who knows? Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into with this case, and uh, we're just going to keep adding things to it. If you've got any ideas on how you would customize this case and what gadgets you would add, please leave a comment down below. I'm really interested in hearing what your ideas are, and I want to make this as accessible as possible. Like I said, I use 3D printing, but you could use Velcro. It's a very easy thing to get into. Be sure to leave your ideas in the comments down below and also check out the old school SSP, uh, the Solar Suitcase Pineapple. There it is. That's the name. Uh, I'll have that linked in the description as well. Anywho, until next time, be sure to leave your ideas in the comments down below and also check out the link to the Solar Suitcase Pineapple video that inspired all of this. That'll be linked down below as well. I've been Glitch. This has been Hack5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.